Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for Friday, July 5, 2024, after 3.15 p.m. Eastern. Having a reverse aging health call and all the rest tonight at around 9.15 or so p.m. Eastern. As always, we've got a lot to cover. Sometimes people are blocked from knowing what they really want because they're afraid of making a commitment. They don't want to make a commitment. And everything is centered, so to speak, around our minds. Everything. There's nothing that isn't. Uh, it's how we've been, uh, you know, it's how we've acclimated to these bodies. And the, even though the mind's an illusion, and for us to master, most of us don't master it. We end up continually being its slave. If the mind was truly free from any limiting thoughts or beliefs, you would realize that anything in this universe is possible for you to attain. This is when your life gets really exciting. It's important to understand that living as if the future is a blank canvas also means trusting the great unknown and the infinite possibilities it contains. Something miraculous happens when you take on this mission. Stress leaves your body. You relax deeper inside about everything, and you experience an infinite supply of energy inside you that you may not have realized was there. A lot of the times, you know, when, you, when, you, when any of us feel, oh, kind of drained, you know, not, not really, it's, it's hard to describe. It's, it's not really a mental or a physical, it feels like you're just spent, Right? And a lot of that is connected to the mind. How you view, how you take in the thoughts, the thoughts that you are really analyzing that are coming in. And I'll tell you, I don't, you know, I'm sure that you have thoughts that come in, they're not yours. And when, when you can identify that, that they're not yours, uh, is, is really a major step forward. Now, obviously, you don't get irritated. You, you're not, you don't care to lower that frequency. But you identify, in fact, that's, that's not my thought. So I'm not gonna, I don't even care to engage it. And anything negative, right, fear, any fear that comes in, the, the best thing to do is embrace that fear. It's just invited in. Jay, come on in. Come on in. Let's, let's talk. Why, why are you here? Why do you keep bubbling up? Why? Let's. You know, I want to know about these things. So, what is it that you need uh, to satisfy you? And that's you know. And it sounds strange to a lot of people, but I kid you not. When you engage any fear, any fear-based thought that comes in, a lot of us will ignore it and kind of go like a fly. You know, shoe fly. Don't bother me. But other times. If you realize that, oh no, come on in, come on in, let's 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 talk about this and find out why you're here. And you'd be amazed what happens. You'd be absolutely amazed. And knowing that, then you become more motivated to say, all your fears, you can bring vitamin, vitamin one at a time, or you could have three or four, and just you sit down with them and you just have a conversation with them. And and then. Something very powerful and divine ignites inside of us when we release our attachment to our mind's illusion of our past, present, and future. And the constant struggle for attaining what you want suddenly becomes 
a letting go game. The borders on your blank canvas disappear. And you realize that what you can create happens first on the inside in your imagination. Now, your life is about embracing the unknown instead of avoiding it. And a lot of people avoid it. They, you know, uh, not going there. And those challenging parts of ourselves becomes a place of curiosity and source of creativity, giving us a palette of, of paints and paintbrushes with a divine inner direction to explore. And I, think, I believe we all know that beware, beware that your mind will always try to get ahead of you and reestablish its old concepts about the past and future. It feels comfortable being attached to ideas and struggling to attain its desires. So your mind loves to think it is in charge of everything. Yet the more efforting it does, the more struggling you experience. And the less inspired creativity flows through. To discover what you really want, no struggle is needed. The only requirement is a deep relaxation into the realization of the infinite, unbounded being you already are. And our mind, it cannot grasp this. It can only comprehend specific techniques, strategies tools and formulas. It is very demanding and wants to know how I can have what I want now. It believes there is only one magical formula that will work every time. It is a con it's constantly searching it's a constantly searching mechanism that doesn't know anything but searching. It's always crazily looking for something substantial to help it reach the top of its magnificent dream. And this perpetual desperate searcher is exactly what gets in the way of recovering the desired outcome you want. So let's free your mind from the stress it's creating in your life and give it the real purpose. It has been searching lifetimes for. And how many of us actually really, really through the heart mind believe that anything is possible? Right? You, you're still going to hear that's impossible. That's not doable. But how, how many of us actually believe without a question, without a doubt, that anything's possible? See, we have kind of like a, a dream gate, you can call it. And in order to discover what we truly want, it's important to know how to open up our dream gate and enter the garden of our greatest fantasies. Now, you may, maybe you've noticed this. Maybe you haven't. Have you ever noticed how blocked your mind becomes when you are feeling down and depressed? Have you ever done? I mean, all of us have been there. But have you ever, have you ever felt that? It becomes consumed with how things are not working instead of what is possible to create. And to get out of this dungeon, put your attention on the energy inside your heart because your heart is where all your passions and dreams abide. The golden key to opening your dream gate is joy. Ask your heart if it can handle any more joy right now. Is this possible? Of course it is. 
Our heart is the greatest love-pumping valve there is. It is designed to continuously let in the goodies and release the not-so-goodies. And as we open up our dream gate, we will notice certain coincidences, right, quote, in our life that we cannot explain. And we know what coincidences are all about. These synchronistic events are glimpses of our hidden peak dates from our highest manifesting vibration. An amazing relationship situation, person, income, or thing will appear and reappear into your life simply because your mind is clear and aligned with that higher dream and vibration. When you see something as being synchronistic, it is this universe and yourself telling you that you are waking up and tuning into the unlimited being you truly are. It may sound, oh, to some complicated or not, they, can't, they just don't comprehend it. It's like when you want more joy in your life and are open to experiencing the unending pleasures life has to offer, you just say yes. Ask your heart to open to more joy than it ever has in your entire life. Give yourself permission to explore. You have not had this experience yet. The more joy and pleasure you let in, the more creativity and passion your dream gate will allow through. Start by setting the attention and asking for joy right now. Imagine what this feels like. And soon, you will experience more joy than you thought possible. And see, we don't, because of out there, we don't, We don't focus on that. We focus on out there. And then where do we go? Well, that's the ego mind's domain out there. And what do we do? Well, we suffer worry, stress, and fear. As long as we're in yesterday and tomorrow, we're going to worry, stress, and fear. Period. So it's like, okay, so if you choose, you choose to be in yesterday and tomorrow, then you're going to suffer. Now, you choose not to be, obviously, in the heart-mind, and you're not going to suffer. And yesterday and tomorrow, you're a prisoner. In the now, you're free. And yesterday and tomorrow, ego, 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 ego. Noise, mind chatter. 60,000 thoughts, boom, 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 boom. And the now, gone. It's not there. It doesn't exist because ego mind doesn't exist there. And I believe the only reason it is is because most of us are ignorant to understanding really anything about who and what we truly are in these bodies. I, that's pretty much common sense. It doesn't make anybody bad or less. It just means that they haven't discovered it yet. So you, when you look at people in different perspectives, right, outside of the ego mind and not in judgment, you'll notice that they're specific in certain areas. For them, that then in the areas, like if you ask a complete stranger, you say, when was the last time you hugged the God within you? Well, from our previous experiences, you're going to get a funny look. And you'll sense it, you know, funny looks. I think we've all had the funny looks. And you just kind of go, okay, well, what are you talking about? 
or you know, I don't. The, the people who say they don't have a God inside them. God's up there. You know, God's not in me. It's over there. And then people, some people will say that, oh yeah, yeah, I know God's within me. When was the last time you gave your God a great big hug? You want to get a really good high? Give your God within you a big, huge, full body hug, and not for two seconds. As long as you can. One might say, wow, we got a lot to overcome. No, really. It, we, there, there are things that we just don't understand yet. So things get muddled. Now, we don't know they get muddled. In fact, a lot of people don't know that they're controlled by the ego mind. In fact, the majority don't believe that they are. They don't know they're controlled by the ego mind. Now, what do you th- what do you believe would happen in the near future that you all the things that most of us worry about at times are gone? They aren't there. Right? What is what is it? What are the most what, the most prevalent things right now in this country on this planet that people are concerned about? Well, what is it? Security, right? That's a big one. That's because the ego mind is highly insecure, not getting satisfied. Right? Not getting satisfied. Isn't that wild? Because our, ask yourself this. When was the last time that you, not, not for a short period or like a, but for a long time, when was the last time you felt satisfied? Tent. See, in, in the evil mind, you're, it's not going to last. It doesn't last for any of us. We are, we're all in the ego mind. Just some are more extensive than others. Some are very light. But we have different perspectives of that, and it's cool because we can look, we can see reflections of ourselves with other people, and you say, wow, look at that one's ego mind. That tells me that I could be there. I could be doing that. And then you look at yourself and say, am I doing that? Or is, is the universe just showing me how that would look, how that would be? Well, I believe that the universe is showing you how it would be if you were embraced that heavily uh, with the ego mind. And whether, you know, it doesn't matter, but everything is connected to the ego mind on this planet. People say, well, why, why is there so much discussion about the ego mind? Because it's everything in the material, physical world that we are challenged with. You know that when you go into the quiet time of this meditation and you focus on your breath, you get in a comfortable position, you're as still as a statue, and you lean, you, you relax into your body. You just, you got to kind of let go. You just, lean, you just lean into the body and relax as deeply as you're able. And you just listen to the breath. That's it. And that, that state that you're in is right outside the door of the God that you are, the pure consciousness in that body. Right there. And believe you me, this civilization, in order for it to survive, one of the key areas is to live in the now. Genuinely. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Always live in the now. 
And of course, we, we all know that that takes practice because we're not going to you know, flip a switch and boom, we're embedded in the now forever. But it makes it interesting for us because we can look at things, right? And we can kind of tell as we put our attention within and not outside, see? Because it all begins within us. Whatever happens out there starts within. With every one of us. Now, it doesn't mean that we're clear on it. That, oh, yes, okay, I, I intended this and I... That, a lot of it is subconsciously, so we aren't aware that we actually are manifesting it. Now, as Agnes Replier, this is a great quote, it is not easy to find happiness in ourselves and it is not possible to find it elsewhere. And what are, what are a lot of us on this planet doing? Seeking, seeking happiness elsewhere, not within. Now, in, in this quiet time of the meditation... Choose to do it or do however you choose in the quiet time. Relax your body-mind by taking a few deep breaths. Allow your body to let go of any tension. And your mind to release all concern. Send your gremlin away. Toss your gremlin into an incinerator or send it to its room. Now, focus on the energy of your heart. You know who the gremlin is, don't you? The ego mind. Now, you, you, now, say, you go in and you focus on the energy of your heart. Imagine you are stepping inside the center of your heart. What does your heart look like? How does it feel to be inside your heart? As you look around, you notice that there is, there is a lever that has the words dream gate on it. Is it set on low, medium, high, or super high? Slowly open the valve and let in more and more and more dream energy. Allow it to flow into your heart. How does that feel? Now watch it rise from low or medium to maximum. And as you feel the dream energy increase, imagine that it becomes so powerful that it starts radiating out of every cell in your body. And we have trillions of cells. Now that your dream gate is open, imagine your dreams are inside. They are tiny little bubbles that float up from your heart into your brain. More and more dream bubbles come up with each breath. Notice that one bubble seems to be growing bigger and brighter. It is your ultimate dream and fantasy. As this dream enters your brain, it expands to fit your whole body and you step right into it. Notice what it's like to be inside your dream. What do you notice about your surroundings? What are you experiencing? What are you doing? Who is part of your dream? 
How do you feel? How does your body feel? Notice that you and your dream are becoming one. The dream is a part of you now. When you feel what it is like to be living this dream, slowly open your eyes and come back into the room. So that's a, a meditation during quiet time that you can take some of it or use some of it uh, during the quiet time of this meditation because focusing on what we want, it doesn't matter what it is. See, it's, every, it, it's not just money, it's everything. Focusing on what you want and what you don't want. Not what you don't want, but what you want. So a lot of us will focus, the majority of us focus on what we don't want. Therefore, henceforth, we create our lives based upon what we don't want. It's crucial that we choose, each of us choose, to step inside ourselves and understand that you, all of us, are literally the grand masters of our lives. We're the grand masters of what? Manifestation. Moving energy into form, creating it into our reality and experiencing it. All of us. Nobody is slighted or in a, unable or doesn't have it, like a lot of people will say. That's all ego mind crap. We choose. You choose your life, right? You choose it, but you a lot of you don't believe that you are the master of it. You believe that that's out there, and in reality, it's you. Like when any any time a negative, you know that little negative comes in, worry, stress, fear, whatever you know comes in. You identify. And your choice is, is, I don't care to interact with that. I'm interacting right now with what I want in this very moment. You, you, know, act, you know, asking what you want 10 years from now is crazy. Asking what you want now is a whole different ballgame. And you know what? You should get it. And not only that, it would be it would be better it will be better than what you had originally requested to use the parts or all of this dreamgate meditation within your quiet time. Remember, you're always gentle, kind, generous, and humble with yourself at all times. You're always in deep eternal gratitude at all times. I'll join you in a meditation. I'll return to close this out.
take an easy and slow breath in through the nose and an easy and slow breath out from the mouth. Remain still and focused on the breath. Gratitude is the way. There's a plethora of wonderful things that you can be grateful for right now. The sun, the trees, your health, your friends, family, and on. What else is on this list? What's missing? Write it down. Look at this daily. This is one of the greatest secrets to manifesting more abundance in every area of your life. And, rem- and remember, the list is endless. The abundance of this universe is mind-boggling. You have everything you need right now. All that you need to be happy is here. Life is the gift for you to enjoy. Go ahead, I dare you, to give a dozen deep thankful praises to this universe and see what happens. Take this with you for the rest of the day into the evening and night and the following morning. We'll return here tonight, Friday, July 5th, 2024, well, after 9.15 p.m. Eastern to continue our reverse aging health call and all the rest. Be gentle, kind, generous, and humble with yourself at all times. Be in the highest of the highest high, deepest of the deepest deepest, and purest of the purest purest. Eternal gratitude at all times, no matter what's going on out there or in here. Open your heart and allow the magic to flow in. (laughs) 